Okay, so as we, uh, as you guys have seen, so I think few people have been uh, done the programming in C, C++, or C Sharp, or Java, or any programming language. So all of you are new to the Python, so that's why you are learning here. So if you if you take any other programming than Python, for example, C++, C Sharp, or Java, any programming language, so this is a script. Uh, Python scripting language. Okay, scripting means why we call it as a scripting. So it is a compile time, it will give the error. Uh, sorry, runtime, it will give the error. So for example, in the in the last uh, video, I in the just by using the interpreter, I just uh, put one uh, instruction set, so one line code, and uh, that is immediately given the output without any compiling. It immediately give the output. So when I just click on enter means I am just giving that command to the interpreter it is giving the output so the like that the Python is even uh, PHP is also like that so it will not compile it will directly uh, execute and it will give the output if there is any error it will it will only in the runtime it will give the errors okay but in C sharp or any other programming language so when we run when we execute the program so the before executing, first we need to compile that. So then only we have to execute that executable code code in our computer. <clears throat> so this is the one major difference. So in the Python, and also one of uh, one more main important here is, so here there is a syntax are very very uh, simpler way. So for example, if you check any conditional statements or any uh, data types declaration. So everything, it will be in a very simplified way. So here there is no any open brace or close brace in the programming language. So that is the indentation. So we will see in the class one by one. So here, what and all I am going to do in this Python, what and all we learn the topics. So usually I, I refer this W3 schools. So because this is a, uh, this is not too much of theory. So only just, uh, very in a simple way we can understand the concepts so that's why we i recommend to refer the w3 w3 schools so if you go to w3 schools so there is a tutorials option so and so in that tutorial options you can able to find the python so these are the topics we are going to learn so so these are just an introduction so python comments so comments, everyone knows in uh, your previous programming languages also, you have used the comments. So to make any comments for the developers to understand, uh, to uh, for example, why that uh, line is there for, for example, if you want to define any method you have declared, so that method, how it will execute and what is the what is the purpose I am developing that method? So all those kinds of informations, we can able to uh, type it as a comment. Just a one minute. Hello. Yeah, sorry. So this oh. is the one. Yeah, this is the one concept comments and variables. So variables, as you know, in all the programming languages. So there is a variable with a different data types. So also here also there is a data types and numbers and casting strings, Boolean operations, list tuples, sets, dictionaries, if else. So these are all the conditional statements how we used in that other language as a conditional statement as a if, if, else, while loops, looping concepts and functions. And from here, it will start the object oriented concepts also. So in other programming languages, how we created the objects. So also how we create the classes. So in, and the object oriented features like linear returns, all those things we can able to see in the Python also. So these are all the main topics we are going to cover in the Python programming language. Once this
complete core properties completed so then only we can go for the django application development so django application development means that is a complete web application development so which we are seeing this w3 schools this is also web web content so like this by driving this web content we can develop the web applications okay these are the topics so first we'll go to create a one sample project so this is just uh, i will i will show you just go to the new project so there you can select the project location so i will give the project name as a learn python so like this you just go on create create a project so in the ide so then it will create one virtual environment so i will tell you today so what is virtual environment so this is by default it came one virtual environment okay so now if you open the terminal here so you can able to see here venv that's in okay. the yeah means this is activated the virtual environment so now i will explain so what is the virtual environment so as you seen so there is a, as you are a c sharp developer dot net developer so you will install the dot net framework to the computer also the all the dot net libraries for the system so it will go and install in the c system path right correct yes so in the same way we can install the python to some uh, some path any version for example 3.10 3.7 or even uh, python 2 is also there 2.5 2.6 any version we can install to our system okay. okay now i am going to develop one project for the python okay so in that python we are, i am going to use some different other libraries so python is the basic basic uh, package okay basic package means that is also rich libraries are already included in the python along with that python so we can use a lot of other libraries other open source libraries only to develop the application so in that case what what we can do so if we create one virtual environment like this so this virtual environment means this environment is only for this project okay. so whatever the libraries we are going to install it will installed only within this environment okay okay for example in the c sharp or dot net whatever you install the libraries it it completely installed to the system so you can use that library in any of the project correct okay so i will uh, demonstrate also with the examples how it will happen so like this so is similar like uh, sorry to disturb so yeah, it's no similar problem. like package hmm. packet packet package uh, i didn't get you no no in visual studio we are using like nugget packages like right? okay uh, similar like this or nugget packages i know little bit actually i am not much aware of that c sharp uh, no nugget package is nothing but uh, like uh, for example if you are hmm. if you are using uh, uh, excel uh, upload hmm. Okay. For that, we some specific DML, right? Ah, yes, yes. That that is fine. So that is the library. Now get packet what you are telling. So that is ah, one okay. library. So, but that library once you installed it, so you can uh, throughout that uh, system, you, whatever the project you create, you can use that package, right? Ah. Uh, so it will yes. come automatically. It will come. Yes, yes, yes. We can use it. So, but. For, uh, Uh, but here what happens if you create the virtual environment so whatever the libraries we installed in this environment so it will apply only for within this project if okay, you create okay, okay. so it means that throughout the system it will not install those libraries okay, okay. so when we go 
yeah yeah when we go to the uh, real time example uh, you will better you will understand okay 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 so basavraj you are understanding right yes sir yes sir uh, so in uh, as you nimi gotira tara idu bari c programming madidirala so angagi c programming alli neevu gcc compiler use martta idire ha so compiler use madake terminal ne ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಸೇಮ್ ಅದೇ ತರನೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅದಕ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅದು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈಲ್ so i will create one python file to write some code okay. and i will type it as a main so this python file extension is the .py so i am going to create a file with the .py main.py okay once you have so created the, the... mandatory every time we need to give .py or return it no no uh, dot py you, you you can you have to give okay okay uh, for other file formats also it will come actually you can able to see if you select this python file uh-huh. then dot py you no need to require to type it okay, okay okay if you go to the just plain file then you have to type the dot py so then it will automatically uh, take it as a python file and it, it will show this icon also okay okay any html css files so you have to mention go to the file and mention the dot css like that so html okay. file also we can create without extension for these two options okay okay so this is the uh, very best uh, first basic file so now what i am going to do so first as usually everyone will test the hello world right in java programming c sharp programming so to print the hello world so how many lines code we use in c sharp in c sharp first we will create one main class main class before uh, main class inside that main class main method public static okay. white main in java uh, so after that we need to import the os That's something yes, yeah sir. after that uh, system dot out dot printl and something so it might come within the open brace close brace everything it will comes around uh 10 lines 10 lines correct 8 to 10 lines or 6 to 10 lines so but here i am i will do it with do it with just one line so let's go for that so even colon is not required okay okay so after that i just save that file so then in the terminal we need to type python main.py so then okay. i got the output hello world to run this page we need to type python Yes. yes so python is the command so we need to mention this python space main.py so then mm-hmm. we can able to see the we can able to run this python script okay, okay. so um, so now whatever the version is there within this virtual environment if you go go inside this packages so in the scripts you can able to see python 3.10.exe so then we are executing this application in the python 3.10 okay so just for to check that library so which library i can use so 
Okay, so uh, this is uh, now you don't uh, no need to confuse. Just I want to demonstrate. So this numpy as np is there, right? So this is one library numpy. Okay. Okay. So just I wanted to show how to import the library and in virtual environment how can we able to install it. So just to demonstrate that. So now you don't confuse about the any why what is the purpose of numpy and all those things. So just I will paste that code. So now once uh, how to how to import the library means so you need to mention impot import and then that library name. Okay, as np as a so instead of giving the np uh, new mpy so I am just renaming as a np. So in the future so how I have to use this. So just I have to type np and then next there that packages. Okay. Okay. So but here, what is the error? Uh, if you, if I am going to execute this, I will get the error. So let's execute the code. So no module named numpy. Okay. So we are going to import the one library. So, but that is not installed in the Python. Means in the Python, it gives the minimum library. For example, in .NET, uh, C sharp .NET, it gives the minimum libraries within itself. So more, if it is, for example, you told a uh, library for that nugget you yeah. used okay. for something. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like that, so we have a rich, uh, very enormous, enormous of libraries in the Python. Even if you go and check in the Google, so there is so much of libraries has developed in the Python. Okay, so to install this numpy, so usually if you install this numpy in the terminal, in the normal, in the normal terminal, so what it happens, it will uh, install to the complete system. Complete system means you create a project anywhere, so you can able to uh, access that library. So, but if you install this numpy within this environment, so it works only for this project. Okay. Okay. okay what happens, uh, for example, if you if uh, what is the use of doing like this virtual environment? We are installing the libraries within the virtual environment means. So, for example, you create one more project in the same system. And for that numpy library is not required. Okay, but still for that environment numpy is already installed. Because already for this project, I'm going to install this numpy. If I create a new project without the virtual environment also, we can develop the Python projects. Okay. Okay, even if you just go to the terminal and if you type the Python, it will come. So in the system environment variable, we set the Python path also. So then that path it will take. So if we use like this virtual environment, so now if I install this numpy, it will come only for this project. So for install this also, uh, by using this IDE, you can just click on this uh, install package numpy. Okay, or else you can type the command install that package name so then it will start collecting the package and it will download and it will install it okay okay then you can able to see the message successfully installed okay then you just save it okay so now the red line is not showing so also it is not giving the any yeah. error okay so this is the main thing 
virtual environment whatever we installed so there is one more command is there you just note it down if you like it because install iphone r so there is a one command so pip is actually a, we use pip to install the packages so how i install the numpy right pip so by using pip we we can able to install all the python libraries all python dependency libraries so uh, this is oh, sorry pip freeze So pip freeze and like this greater than symbol and then requirement dot txt for w z d one. Minute. Okay. So once you run this pip freeze requirement dot txt. If you go to the requirement.txt, you can able to see the library package installed in this. Okay. Okay. What is the use of this means? So, for example, I am developing on project. I have installed lot of libraries when I am developing the code. Okay. okay. Then this same source code I given to someone else to enhance that project. Okay. Then again, what happens when he is going to run the code? He get a lot of errors because. In in his environment, he has not installed the uh, dependency libraries. Uh -huh, okay, okay, okay. So that so that time we need to before giving that we need to do this pip freeze iphone r requirement dot txt. Then we get one requirement dot txt file along with all the libraries with the package name. If there is a ten okay. libraries, it will show the ten lines with the package name and the package version. Okay. so what he will do so what he will do he just go pip install iphone r so requirement dot txt so okay. this is already so installed yeah yeah this, uh, it will install to your system so then then you no need to worry about that which under the library you have to install it manually that is not required so this is just one simple way of uh, doing this Okay, okay, okay. Okay, like this, we have to. Uh, everyone has to do when when we are developing the application. So when we are giving that project to someone else, or we even when we are uh, using the Git repository to push the source code. So first, we need to freeze if any any new library I have used and installed. So first, I need to freeze like this to requirement or txt. Then I need to share that code. So then for them, it will be easy. Otherwise, they will execute our code. Again, they will get the error. So numpy is giving the error because no module named as a numpy. So then again, they will try to install. But they might install a different version. So in the numpy also, there is a lot of versions will come. So that's why there is a lot of conflict will happen. So this is the very standard way of doing the uh, virtual environment and installing the libraries within this. So anybody have any doubts in this? Uh, I will show that deep again if I have a time, three more minutes, maybe I'm having the time. Okay. So you just go to here configuration. Okay. And you just go click on press and uh, select the Python. You will get like this. So you just give one command a run. Uh, that is just a name and give whatever you want. I am just giving as a run. So you need to select the script means which Python file I am going to execute main.py. This is the main file and I am not going to pass any parameter. So this is the interpreter 3.10. This is the virtual environment I am running. So you just need to select that main.py and you just give some name and you just apply it. Click OK. 
So then you can able to see one green button and uh, one uh, debug button. 